Hello po and uh, very good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Today is a historic day po because um, nag-umpisa na po ang vaccination program ng gobyerno ng Pilipinas and the Filipino nation po at the Philippine General Hospital. So let's talk about what happened today. At kung may mga tanong po kayo na gusto nyo pong maliwanagan regarding our vaccine program. So please join us today. Napakaganda po ng ating usapan. My name is Dr. Anna York Bondok. I am a pulmonary and critical care specialist. I am also an internal medicine specialist po. I'm a three-term congresswoman. Um, marami po akong alam sa Barangay Matters being the wife of Mayor Jason Sagum. I'm also the owner of a small business and the mom of an eight-year-old. So I'm here po in San Juan, San Luis, Pampanga and ready to answer your questions about the COVID vaccine. So please follow us. Meron po kaming YouTube channel, Dr. Anna York Bondok. We are trying to reach 1,000. Please, paabutin nyo naman kami na 1,000, okay? And um, please put your questions below. We, we promise to read those na hindi po namin naabutan kahapon. And uh, we will move forward po with various questions also today. And you are welcome to put your questions po sa baba. Please like and follow us on Facebook and on YouTube. And uh, babasahin po natin. So let's start po today. The, the title po is Ask Dr. Anna. And uh, it's the Bakuna questions number two. So uh, ito po, why is today a historic day? So let's make that question number one. Well, yesterday po, duma dumating na po ang donated Sinovac vaccines from China. They arrived po and uh, today, uh, they started, we started our national vaccination program. Sana po, let's say a short prayer for the success po of our vaccination program. Kasi ito po ang magiging malaking tulong po sa mga Pilipino and the way out po of the pandemic. So kung may tanong po kayo because mabibigat po yung sinabi ko, no? malaking tulong, way out from the pandemic, please don't hesitate to put your questions and I will explain to you kung bakit po ganon. So the first person that was vaccinated is Dr. Gerardo Gapli Gaspi. Siya po ang director of the Philippine General Hospital. He is a neurosurgeon po and also kapitbahay ko kasi he comes from San Santa Ana. Okay? So kabalen po si sir and dumadaan din po siya doon kasi... He greeted me for helping fix Quezon Road. So congratulations, Dr. Gap. The second Filipino who was vaccinated is Dr. Edsel Salvania, an infectious disease specialist po. And the third person who was vaccinated is Dr. Eric Domingo, who is the director po of F FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, the one, one of those who approved the emergency use authorization po ng Sinovac and also, both of them, Dr. Gap and Dr. Eric, are very good friends in Kabalin. And I'm actually also friends with Dr. Edsel. So, people all often ask, Sige, let's tackle the first question na. Okay? Tuldukin na po natin. Am I willing to be vaccinated with Sinovac? Okay? So, para matapos na po yung issue, my answer po is, yes, I'm willing to be vaccinated. Um, I do believe that Sinovac has shown safety sa mga uh, trials po niya in Turkey, Brazil, and uh, Indonesia. It has a good uh, efficacy po or um, effective po siya for to prevent uh, severe death and uh, severe, uh, sorry, severe illness from COVID and death. And adequate naman po yung protection niya for the lesser moderate and mild COVID. And as of now, wala pa hong namamatay from Sinovac. And it is available. So yes, if you ask me, I am willing to be vaccinated with Sinovac. Naingit nga ako dun sa first three, sa totoo lang. Okay? Why am I naiingit? Well, because they're now protected and I'm not. So um, let us congratulate them po. Let's say a prayer for their safety. Um, let's also give them po uh, yung applause po at ang yung uh, pagkakilala po na that the three of them have worked really hard and sana po, tuloy-tuloy na po for the Filipino nation. Okay, so guys, next question. I am far from an expert, but I will try my best po. From Miss Maribel Taglukop, Good morning, Doc. Is it safe to get vaccinated with COVID vaccine if kaka-undergo pa lang ng chemo? Ay, ang ganda po ng tanong niya. 
Um, what's her first name? Maribel? Maribel po. Maribel. Maribel. Okay, Maribel. And she is undergoing chemotherapy right now. If kaka-undergo pa lang, yes, ng chemo, that's right, doctora. So I guess she is a cancer patient, ano, obvious yes, back therapy. So ganito po yun. I researched that because I saw that question. And uh, marami pong, ano eh, marami pong, um, marami pong differing opinions among oncologists, okay? But the most important thing that I picked up po from the U.S. and uh, worldwide po, we have vaccinated already 100 and 94 million people. So, ang dami na nun. Um, the question is, uh, can cancer patients undergo um, the COVID vaccine? Okay, let's emphasize one thing. Okay, cancer patients at are, are, are at a higher risk. Mas mataas po ang pagkakataon na yung mga nagkikimo po at may cancer ay magkaroon po ng COVID. Why? And mas mataas po yung risk nila for severe COVID and even death. Okay. So, let's go into um, why, bakit mas mataas yung risk nilang magkaroon ng severe COVID at mas mataas yung risk nilang mamatay. Okay. What's the meaning of this? Halimbawa, ikaw ay 40 years old. Okay. You are a breast cancer patient. Okay. Nagkikimo ko ngayon. Sabihin na natin sa Jose Reyes, Sabi na natin sa Jose Reyes, okay? Then you compare your risk po with a 40-year-old who's not undergoing chemo. Sabihin po natin, you have breast cancer. At sabihin na po natin na uh, kalat na po yung breast cancer niyo. Okay? So, assuming dalawa kayo magka-COVID, yung pinsan mo na 40 years old na wala rin sakit, at ikaw, 40 years old with COVID and undergoing chemotherapy for breast cancer. Sino sa tingin mo ang mas magiging okay? Yung pinsan mo na walang sakit or ikaw. Ang masasabi ko po, if we compare cancer patients with the same, let's say, magkamaganak na kayo, nakatira kayo sa same barangay, everything, lahat na. Okay? Halos pareho kayo except that you have cancer. I'm sorry to tell you po na yung pinsan nyo without cancer will have a better chance to survive COVID than you. Bakit? Kasi na-weekend na po, no? Kalat po yung cancer. Cancer po, um, weakens the body. Kahit walang COVID, di mahina po yung cancer patients. Number two, the chemotherapy can affect po our immune system. So, bababa po yung immunity natin. And once we have lower immunity po, probably due to the drugs and just by having cancer itself po, we can get more serious COVID. Kung baga ma-COVID ka, mas seryoso po yung mangyayari sa inyo. At mas mataas din po yung inyong risk of death. And why would I say that cancer patients are at high risk naman to get COVID. Kasi po, no choice po sila. They have to go to the hospital. They have to go for checkup. They have to go for chemotherapy. So, and, uh, unlike other people who can just elect to stay at home, ang cancer patient po, kailangan talagang pumunta yan sa ospital kahit na ano pang sabihin natin. Kasi kailangan po nilang magpa-checkup. Kahit po, alam nila na may risk. Okay? So, based on that, ang sinasabi po ng mga oncologist sa US is yes, um, in fact, sabi pa nga po nila, those with active cancer, eh mas lalo pa nga raw kung dapat mabakunahan ng COVID. Kasi, pag yun ang nagkasakit, halos diretsong patay na yun or diretsong ICU. So, mas lalo pang emergency po sa kanila na mabakunahan po sila. So, if you do have cancer, if you are taking chemotherapy, especially po, sabi po nila, is blood and lung. Talagang ay in danger po yan sa covid Blood kasi po, that's the immunity, the white blood cells. Lungs kasi, biro mo, ang hirap-hirap na ho ng COVID sa baga, tapos may cancer pa doon. So talagang hindi ho magandang i-combine yun, hinding-hindi. Um, experts and uh, oncologists or people who give chemotherapy are now suggesting po that cancer patients should actually be vaccinated po for against COVID. Ngayon, um, Kung kayo po are undergoing a bone marrow transplant or maybe a blood cancer, pag-usapan niyo humuna ng doctor niyo. And again, for all cancer patients, um, please discuss it with your doctor. But definitely, may recommendation po sa US na dapat po kayong magpabakuna ng COVID. Okay? Huh? 
from Miss Kathy Rodriguez. Hi, Doc Anna. What's inside the vaccine? Thanks for another live. Hi, Mom Kathy. That, that's a very good question. Ano? And I, I, this comes about like, um, puntahan po natin yung basics. Bakit ba may bakuna? Um, at ano ba linalagay sa loob ng bakuna yan? Okay? And um, bakit ba tayo nagbabakuna? First of all, nagbabakuna po tayo to form antibodies. Ano ba yung antibodies? Antibodies po are soldier cells in our blood made by our white blood cells. So itinatawag po natin, in short, WBC. Uh, yun po yung lumalaban po versus infections. Infections can be bacteria, like pneumonia, virus, like covid Fungo, si mga ganun po. Yun po yung nagbibigay na sakit po sa tao. And sa dugo po natin, there's two main components. The red blood cells, yun po yung hemoglobin, no? That carries oxygen. And the second component po na talagang matindi po sa ating blood cells is the white blood cells. At doon po gumagawa ng antibodies. Okay? So, um, we vaccinate people para meron na po tayong antibodies. Kumbaga, the vaccine is like the sakit, pero hindi. Okay? Parang, ano, parang, how do I put this? The vaccine fools the body. Parang liniloko po, akala po ng katawan na nakita na nila sa, si COVID. Kasi, the components of the vaccine, and I will tell you later, the different components. Yung components po ng vaccine, parang, Akala po ng katawan natin, andyan na si COVID, okay? So, gagawa po siya ng antibodies. But actually, ang nakita po niya is the vaccine, not the real COVID, okay? It's the vaccine. And the vaccine po, um, how does it fool the body? Okay, how does it fool the body na nandyan na si COVID but actually, bakuna pala yun, okay? Nung unang panahon, nung unang panahon, panahon pa ng polio and smallpox, they really used to put the uh, the real ano the real the real sakit like the real smallpox ganun pero um nakita po nila na and then the body will fight the smallpox so ginagamit po nila was, was a ano buti na lang we reviewed the history of vaccines no unang panahon talagang linalagay po nila yung live virus pero konti lang so that the body will produce antibodies so that the time that the real virus comes, eh may panlaban na po tayo. We are vulnerable right now to COVID because right now, because our body never experienced COVID, we have zero antibody. Okay? So, the, 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 the point of vaccination is to make the body form antibodies versus COVID, versus um, measles, versus polio, versus chicken pox. So that when the real chicken pox, measles, polio, whatever, enters your body, ready na yung soldier cells mong mag-aaway na sila kaagad. Okay? So, um, nung unang panahon, they used to put uh, the first polio vaccine was actually a live vaccine. What is the meaning of a live vaccine? Totoong polio po yung dating sinasaksak po sa, sa katawan ng tao. Totoong smallpox, totoong cowpox. Okay? And then, pero konti lang. And actually, nung unang panahon, when there was a live vaccine, some people actually got polio and got really sick. Okay? So, based on that, sabi po nung medicine, ayaw na natin magbakuna ng live kahit konti lang. So, they developed po the technology called the inactivated, vac uh, the inactivated vaccine. Ito po yung, um, this, there's a form of a, vaccine po ng polio, which is not live anymore. It's called inactivated polio vaccine. So, similar po yun to polio. It's actually polio also, kaya lang pinatay siya. So, no hope na siyang mak when you inject that, it will not anymore cause disease. But by injecting the dead or inactivated uh, form of vaccine, the body will think, ay, ayan na si polio, or ayan na si smallpox, or ayan na si COVID. Gagawa po siya ng antibodies. Pero actually, patay na, patay na sakit po yung linagay natin. Okay? So that is the inactivated vaccine. That is the oldest form po of vaccine next to live vaccine. 
Kasi nag-umpisa po tayo na totoo yung ini-inject natin. Ayaw na natin yun. That's live, okay? And um, it was actually very powerful. People got the live uh, uh, polio vaccine but small amounts and they really produced a lot of antibodies. So gumawa na nga, pero some people got polio. So because of that, gumawa na po sila ng inactivated. So the Sinovac po is inactivated COVID. Pumunta po sila sa China and all over the round, around the world, kumuha po sila ng mga actual COVID, anti, uh, actual COVIDs po talaga, then pinatay nila. And then they grew it in the lab and then they inject it into people. So you might actually panic, oh my God, do you, do you mean that they're injecting me with COVID? Yes, they are, but it is inactivated and technically dead. So no way po kayo magkaka-COVID from that, okay? And actually, if you're worried about Sinovac, this is the oldest technology. Super old na po to. Panahon pa ni, to, ni Jonas Salk. Uh, that's, I guess, 1940s or whatever. Um, panahon pa ng mga magulang nyo, mga lolo nyo. So, from that time until today, that's 2020, that's an old technology. So, kung nini-nervous po kayo about new technology, you might be interested in Sinovac kasi po proven na proven na proven na po ito. It's an old technology. Um, another components po ng vaccine is yung ano po, there is a protein po, uh, yun po yung adenove adenovirus vector. Um, kukuha po sila ng um, safe virus, okay, safe virus. They put a portion po ng, uh, ng COVID, which is usually the spike po yung ginagamit nila. They inject it into the body. It will go into the cell and then makikita po ng cell yung spike. Aha, may kalaban. Then gagawa po ng antibody. Again, that spike cannot live kasi it's not a whole it's not a whole COVID. Mamamatay din po siya. And then the body will have antibodies po. So that's another thing that is in the vi that's in the vaccine. Yeah, inactivated yun po yung Sinopharm. Yung uh, a harmless virus will carry the COVID the spike para po uh, our body will recognize it. So, yun po yun. And then there's another form, the more modern one, yun po yung bits na lang po ng messenger RNA, which will enter our cells po and tell our cells na, oh my gosh, andito yung COVID. So, gagawa na po tayo ng antibodies. So, pagdating po ng totoong COVID, we are ready. But uh, for those, I, I won't go into the technicalities kasi masyado na rin pong mahirap. But um, yun po yung nasa bakuna. There are um, inactivated uh, COVID. There are some uh, harmless viruses. And there is messenger RNA. Kung may nervous po kayo about the new what's in the vaccine, you should get Sinovac because that is the oldest technology po among vaccines. And it has been proven to be one of the safest. Of course, meron po mga um, a few... Uh, Parang mga carrier proteins, ganun po, mga ano po, which are observed by the body. Nakuha nyo ba yun? Yes, malinaw po. Do you want me to explain further or ano? Malinaw naman po, doktor. Let's, baka we can emphasize this on the future questions. Yes. From Ms. Glenson Loyola, in your opinion po, which vaccine is better to choose? Yeah, no. Which Maganda. never is available sa Pilipinas. Kasi right now po, um, this is not a situation po na may tindahan at nakabalagbag po yung buffet doon at pipili tayo. Okay? This is a situation po na um, there's a worldwide and a global shortage kasi everybody got affected by COVID. So of course, everybody wants to have a vaccine. Every country. So talaga pong kulangan po talaga ng vaccine. But I would like to emphasize to everyone that all of the available vaccines have undergone po talagang masusing trials. Thousands of persons all over the world have undergone a trial to make sure po that these vaccines are safe. So, iba't iba lang po yung mga technology nila, um, iba't ibang bansa, but rest assured po na na-review po silang mabuti. And, you know, that's why I say the Philippines is also a mighty nation. Kasi hindi lang tayo nagtitrust ng review ng ibang bansa. Nagre-review din tayo na sarili natin with our own scientists. So, malaking bagay yun. Okay, next question from Ms. Ver Espinosa. Is it accurate? What is accurate? Um, 
perhaps yung pong tinatanong niya is, is tungkol sa yung accuracy ng vaccine po. Or ver- yung efficacy, yan. Um, ganito po yun, ano? There are varying... Um, iba, kasi it depends, eh, ano ba outcome na gusto nyo? Meron pong outcome na lahat ng tao hindi magkakaroon ng COVID. Meron din pong outcome na hindi na po nakakahawa yung nabakunahan. Meron pong outcome na hindi ka ma-hospital. Meron din pong outcome na hindi ka ma-ICU. At meron ding outcome na hindi ka mamamatay. What I'm trying to say is there there's gradations of efficacy and accuracy. Okay? Um, kung efficacy po, how effective? Um, iba-iba po as we come to the milder disease. Yung sa transmission, wala pa po. Ang balita lang, J&J lang daw. Pero yung mga mild and moderate, nag-iiba. Pero the most important thing that I would just like to stress, kasi ayokong himay-himayin isa-isa yung mga bakuna, sasakit lang ang ulo natin. Rest assured that all the vaccines po prevent death and prevent severe COVID. And I think that's the most important issue. Kasi baka naman maka survive tayo kung ma-COVID tayo. Baka moderate mo hospital tayo. But definitely, ayaw na natin umabot sa ICU. From Miss Ruby Arce, safe po ba ang isang diabetic at the same time, high blood din po ang magpa-vaccine? You know, the more, the more comorbid diseases you have and the older that you get, mas malaki yung risk mo na mamamatay ka sa covid and mas malaki din yung risk mo na ikaw ay ma-ICU. Kasi we're starting from a non-healthy person. E kayo yung healthy person nga, mayroon pa ring risk na mamatay. Can you imagine kung mga may, may kung baga may strike 1, strike 2, kana strike 1 si Jabeti, strike 2 si hypertension. Pagdating na strike 3, that's it, ICU ka na. And especially strike 4, like you're 99 years old. Pero may nakaka-survive, ha? But still, I mean, just practicality alone tells us that the more marami tayong sakit, the more mas risky na ma-hospital. Kasi baka nga hindi ka mamatay ng COVID, eh biglang yung diabetes mo, tapos yung high blood mo, tapos mahina pala puso mo, nagsabay-sabay dun sa gitna na ICU. It is a very difficult situation. So, the more comorbids you have, or the more sakets you have, the older you are, the more reason po that you should be vaccinated. Kasi po, mas malaki po yung chance nyo na magkaroon po ng severe COVID. And I hate to say this, I don't want to scare anyone. Pero sa totoo lang po, mas malaki rin po ang chance na mamamatay po kayo. Okay, next question. From Miss Jocelyn Sese, Doctora, safe po ba ako magpa-vaccine? Thanks very much po. Ma'am, um, as long as you are in good health, you are safe to be vaccinated po. And if the more nga that you are not in good health, the more you should be vaccinated kasi mas malaki nga po yung inyong chance po na namatay. And again, I would like to stress this, 194 million na po ang tao sa mundo na nabakunahan. Wala pa hong namamatay. Matindi okay. yun. Next question. From Ms. Kathy Rodriguez. How long will it take to build immunity? Is it few weeks? I'm willing to be vaccinated too. That's good to hear. Ma'am, talagang, I, I don't think anyone can answer that question right now. Kasi we do not, ex- except in the laboratory setting, um, iba, iba po yung timing ng second dose. So why do we have a second dose? Um, yun ang tinatawag nating priming. Like sa, sa measles, di ba, we have three doses. Um, I think the first dose is already 90 sa measles. The second is 96 and the third is 99. Parang ganon. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is ganon din po si, ano, si, si, si COVID. The first, mataas ka eh, Pero the second will give you a higher immunity. How fast that will happen? Sabi po nila Pfizer is 21 days. Okay? But again, um, I can't really give an exact date na on this day you're completely okay. Pero I would say some reasonable period of time after the second vaccine, eh maaabot naman niyo po yung 90, 96, 98, ganun po na percentages. From Miss Go Asher Austin. Hi, Doctora. Good afternoon po. 
Alvin Sagum po from GPSAT. Very informative po FB Live nyo. God bless. Ay, kaibigan ko yan. We went to Singapore together um, along with our staff uh, for for a uh, to build up the TESDA school. Sir Alvin, as soon as this is over, let's work on the our TESDA school, Gonzalo Puyat School of Arts and Trades. Thank you po. From Mr. James Randolph Ginto Macalino, Good day, Doc. What can you say about the Sinovac vaccine? I'm quite afraid with it. What I can tell you po is um, Sinovac is a Chinese-made vaccine. Um, para ho ma makalmado kayo, meron, in fact, yung technology nga po ni Sinovac is the oldest. And we all know sa technology, di ba kung minsan gusto natin yung tried and tested? Well, yung technology po ng inactivated vaccines is super tried and tested. That's the second vaccine type that was developed in the world after the live vaccine. Kasi nga ho, ayaw na natin hum magbakuna sa loob ng tao ng, ng pwede na lang. Kasi noong unang panahon, as I told you, the polio and the smallpox, yung totoong polio po, talagang totoong smallpox yung iniksyon po nila. In fact, kinakaskas pa ho nila yung ano eh, yung 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 bulutong po ng smallpox and then they dry it they make it to powder and they inject it directly onto the person ngayon hindi na po talaga ginagawa yun and the second ano po the second form of vaccine that was developed after the live vaccine was the inactivated vaccine totoong covid po yun pero pinatay so that is the oldest technology that is being used today and that was used by Sinovac so kung may nervous po kayo about new vaccines, then use the old vaccine, which is Sinovac. Wala naman pong masama doon. Again, um, yung data po ng Sinovac, well, ito po, honestly, there is a worldwide hesitation about Russian and Chinese-made vaccines. But ako naman po, as long as na may data naman po na matino, and again, it was tested po in Turkey, Brazil, and Indonesia, um, and Severe uh, COVID and death po e talagang prevented po dan by Sinovac. Um, it's being used by 15 countries. So siguro po, um, let's keep an open mind. The first Filipino to be vaccinated by Sinovac happened today. And I'm praying po for the success of our vaccine campaign. So ang masasabi ko pa lang po, more data will be coming out. Mas marami po tayong malalaman. It's okay to be afraid. Ang importante lang po is to learn more para po you can know more and hopefully po mawala po yung inyong agam-agam about the vaccine. Thank you for asking. That is a very valid question po. And I'm really happy po that people are asking kasi ayoko naman po yung sunod-sunuran lang. Masama yun. Okay, it's good to be curious. Kasi help nyo rin po yun. From Ms. Carla San Diego Mamangon. Hello, Doctora. How about po yung mga dialysis patient? Is it safe for them to be vaccinated? Well, ito po yun again. The dialysis patient po and a person in kidney failure, that is someone on dialysis. Kidney failure po yan. Mas mataas po talaga yung risk of death sa mga taon to pag sila po ay na-COVID. Kasi po, biru mo. Hindi na nga gumagana yung kanilang kidney. Tapos, bibigyan mo pa sila ng isang matinding sakit. Diretso po talaga yan sa ICU and baka pa po mamatay. Okay? So, it's actually, they are recommended to get the vaccine. But again, talk po muna dun sa inyo pong kidney doctor. And number two reason po kung bakit po talagang ako, I'm in favor of vaccinating and I would advise you to have a conversation po with your doctor. Um, as a dialysis patient, hindi ko po sinabing kayo, baka yung kamag-anak niyo or what, ano. Pero as a dialysis patient po, no choice din po tayo, Reyna. We have to leave our house. Kasi napakamahal magpa-dialysis sa bahay. Okay, though it can be done. Let's put the reality po na all the dialysis patients, they have to leave their house. They have to go to the dialysis center. So kahit na gano po kalinis yung dialysis center, and I'm trusting naman that they're cleaning that every day rin naman, it's just the mere fact of going to a place na maraming tao, riding the public transport, tapos yung immunity mo is not 100% because of the dialysis, eh talagang posible ka nga makovid. Pag na-COVID ka naman, sa dami na po ng sakit nyo, and I'm sure may rason naman ho kung ba't kayo na dialysis, which is either high blood, diabetes, at yung mga ganon, eh talagang if a diabetic Ah, a diabetic, a hypertensive, and a dialysis patient, all in one, eh, magka-COVID, 
hindi ho maging maganda yung outcome niya most of the time. Okay? I didn't say all of the time. I said most of the time. So yes, I would encourage that. And talk to your doctor about it pag kayo po ay tinawag na po ng inyong LGU. From Ms. Gemma Cruz Aguirre, Good PM po. BHW po ako dito sa San Gabriel, Makabebe. Safe po ba akong magpagbakuna kahit nagtitake ako ng Losartan? 100 milligrams araw-araw. Salamat po. Okay. Um, Ma'am, yes, you are safe to be vaccinated. Um, hindi pa ho natin approved ang Sinovac for the elderly. I do not know what is your age. But um, definitely, if you're within the age range po, you could get vaccinated. And it's siguro sa akin po, it's just a matter of time po before we approve Sinovac for the elderly. Yes, it's safe to be vaccinated. From Miss... Oh, okay. From Miss Kathy Rodriguez. Wow, it seems like immunotherapy. How did you oh, want to say that? Well, uh, baka naman you, you're explaining that po from a from a from a layman's point of view. Sa ta tama po. Actually, you have a point. Actually, tama rin si Mame. Eh. Um, may point din si Mam kasi ganito yung nalaman ko misconception. Um. Most people think na the vaccine will fight the COVID. Hindi ganon. Tama? Actually, may point si Ma'am Kati. May point ka, Ma'am. May point ka. Thinking about it. Yes, the vaccine will use our immune system to fight the COVID. So if you think about it, yes, it is immunotherapy. Kasi po, gagamitin po nung bakuna, yung ating katawan, um, the, the vaccine will make the body think na or will make the body recognize a foreign object or a foreign in what we call it is a pathogen eh. um in the in the in the covid uh, ano po ang nakikilala po ng ating katawan is the spike yung yung paumbok if you can show the picture of covid that would be good kung hindi po okay lang uh, the spike po ng covid is what the body recognizes and then the body says aha hindi yan part of my body. Awayin natin yan. So, gagawa na siya ng uh, soldier cells, yung ating pong immunoglobulins or antibodies, si antibodies laban. So, tama po kayo eh. It's not actually the, 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 the vaccine which will fight the virus, but the vaccine will make our body um, think that the virus is there, but actually it's not, so that our body will form antibodies so in the future, when the body sees the virus, ay laban na. The real virus, laban na. Yun. Um, dun sa bumati po sa akin, BHW from San Gabriel, Makabebe. Mom, thanks for um, listening. Thanks for watching. Kapitbahay po po yan. And yes, if you're on low sartan, you can definitely take this. In fact, that's yeah. pang Kasi mas mataas po ang risk ng mga high blood po for bad outcome din po sa COVID. From Miss Dizon Wilson Manalo, Doc, if sa Manila kami nag-stay for work, kahit dito pwede kami ka-avail ng vaccine or uwi pa kami ng province, doon po kami magpapavaccine. Salamat po. Maganda po yung tanong niya. Yeah, it's very practical question. Ako, um, I don't know po kung ano yung plano ng bawat LGU, pero... During this time po, um, if I were if I were the mayor, I will discourage po traveling. Kasi can you imagine lahat ng tao uwi dun sa kanilang ano, di mag-ano na naman sa airplane, sa bus, kakalat na naman yung COVID. So ang suggestion ko po talaga sa government, and I don't know po kung ano po yung exact plans nila, but my suggestion would be to stay put na lang po and get your vaccine where you are. Kasi the more people who will travel all around the Philippines, mas lalong magulo. From Mr. John I hope that answered your question. And hopefully po, where you work and where you live in Metro Manila, gagawa na po sila ng paraan. Ako, I cannot advise traveling to get the vaccine. Kasi ang lalabas niyan, yung parang yung locally stranded individuals. Oh, just ko, oh my God, they were in Rizal Park. So ako, ang suggestion ko is to stay put. Okay? 
from Mr. John Miranda. Magandang hapon po, Doktora. Kung may history po, kung may history po ng allergy at asthma, okay lang po ba magpabakuna? Salamat po. Uh, Mr. John, thanks for that question, especially since I'm an asthma doctor. Um, actually, uh, um, and this is from one of the top allergologists in the Philippines, ang bakuna daw na pinaka-less ang allergy is Sinovac. Kasi daw because of the old technology. Alam mo yun? Because of the old technology used. Um, kumbaga, gamay na gamay na natin what's in the old technology versus the newer technology vaccines, which are Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, medyo middle-age technology. But si Sinovac, old technology. So parang gamay na gamay na natin si Sinovac, kumbaga, in terms of the technology used. Um, Again, if you are asthmatic, you are at a higher risk po of a severe illness and death. So I would suggest po talaga mabakuna kayo. Obviously, kung naka, halimbawa ho, hinihingal kayo right on the spot, huwag naman. Um, as long as you're fairly healthy and stable from your asthma, I'd suggest you get vaccinated. Yung history po ng allergy, most of the people who are allergic can get the vaccine except those po who are um, na allergy po dun sa first dose nila. And the second ano, is if talaga kung may allergy kayo doon sa components ng bakuna na yon. Again, if you think you're allergic, what should you do? Um, kausapin nyo po yung doctor nyo and you can elect po to have the vaccine po in a hospital setting or in a clinic setting para at least nandun na kayo. Okay? From Miss Kathy Rodriguez. Yes, Doc Anna, I got it. I got it. You're the best doctor to explain it clearly. Ma'am, ano, uh, you know, all of the doctors who've been explaining this are experts. Some of them talagang tinitingala. It took me a long time to make a vaccine talk. And I started with the Q&A kasi hindi ko alam kung ano yung gusto niyong malaman or kung ano po yung importante sa inyo. And I felt like maybe I didn't know enough about vaccines kasi I'm not an infectious disease specialist. Pero, I'm a barangay specialist, okay? And um, very few doctors po who are pulmonologists can tell you that they are barangay specialists. And because of this, I have much respect po for ordinary persons and their knowledge. Hindi ko po minamaliit ang alam ng isang ordinaryong tao. On the other hand, hindi ko naman po masyadong pinapakalalim na hindi na po, kumbaga, there's a difference between too much information and no information. Pag too much information na po, nawawala na rin ho tayo sa focus. What the information that we should give is the relevant information at yung need to know. Ngayon, kung kulang pa ho yung need to know, just ask. Ayan. Kasi pag sobrang lalim na po, and I've attended some talks by the DOA, so pati ako nahilo, eh hindi po nakakatulong yon. kasi that will just confuse persons more. So I'm telling you what I think you need to know and you are free to ask me more stuff para po maliwanagan po kayo doon. I hope that it's clear, Ma'am Cathy. You are very, very welcome to ask more questions. Ang gaganda po ng mga tinanong nyo. From Miss Lisa Regasa Bondok. Hi po, Doktora. Kumusta po? May nangyari, may nangyari po dito sa abroad. Nabakunahan po first dose ng Feb 11 na hospital na ICU after few days na matay po sa COVID. Ayun, parang nakakakabaat. Parang nakakaduda na kung magpapavaksin pa ba o hindi. Salamat po. Saan po kayo, ma'am? Uh, where did this happen? And let me put it this way. Um, alam mo, when I was answering this question, Reyna, hindi ko na-gets yung point ng mga tao eh. Ang point niyo ho ba was that the vaccine gave the patient COVID? Or is your point that the vaccine did not protect the patient from the COVID that she got from another person? Hindi ko alam eh. Reina, how do you interpret that? At ikaw, Ms. Kat. For me, Doc, I, how I interpreted it is parang nabakunahan si patient and then na, na, na COVID, na hospital, and then um, they found out na namatay sa COVID. Pero I have several que underlying questions as a as a nurse. Eh. Oh, sige. Ano, in agad yung mga subjective and objective questions. Like, okay, what is the state of the patient nung time na namatay siya? May mga iba pa ba siyang mga sakit bukod sa... Sakit, yes. Yeah. Or ah, number two. Oh. Yes. Number two, 
nung nagpa-COVID vaccine ba siya? Was he exposed? Kasi po, prior to that, prior to having vaccine, pwedeng asimptomatic. Baka naman naubuhan the day before. Oh, yes. Okay. And then, nagpa-vaccine siya. It will just, for me, ah, knowing vaccines po, ah, knowing vaccines. Kasi I've been in this, in this, ano, for some time on my nursing years. Ang vaccine po kasi, kaya ang doktor, lagi pong tinatanong sa mga bata, sa mga nanay, ang anak nyo po ba, bago bigyan ng vaccine, magtatanong ang doktor, Mami, ang anak nyo po ba, may sipon, may lagnat? Kung wala po, sige, bigyan natin. Pero kung sinipon po last, ano, two days ago, ay, wag po muna natin bigyan. Hayaan lang po na natin na two weeks bago natin lagyan ng dose. So those are circumstances na kinoconsider ng mga doktor at ng mga health practitioner prior giving any vaccine, not just COVID vaccine, any vaccine po. So kung kayo tinago nyo sa, sa kay doktor na ay nagkaubo po, may, ibo, may, may meron po sa amin may ubo, hindi po talaga bibigyan ng doktor kahit ako po at hindi po ako ang babakunahan yung anak ko po. Pag nalaman ng pedia ko na nagkaubo ako prior sa pagpunta niya, hindi po bibigyan yung bata. Bakit po? Pwede kasi na na-acquire ng bata yung ubo mo o yung virus mo at yung bacteria mo, binigyan ng vaccine, nag-trigger po ngayon. Pero in mo, may, may vaccine na live na siya na COVID. Tinurukan mo ng vaccine, Mm, Siyempre, yung immunity nung, nung tao or nung any person, tataas po ngayon. Lalaban lalo. So, may hirapan mag-cope up yung sarili niyang immune, immune, immunization. No? So, yun po yung explanation ko, doktora. Okay. So, those are bad points. Yes, maganda yun eh. Actually, sa akin, ha, I interpret, I like that, ano, also asking kung meron nangyari. Okay. I could interpret that question po in two ways. No, the first is binakunahan na nga siya but namatay pa. Okay. So uh, tama po si Ma'am Reina and, and tama rin po yung ating questioner. Baka po the day before the vaccine or maybe three days before that person encountered somebody po with COVID. And then may COVID na po yung katawan niya. And so nabakunahan siya. Okay? And then, a few days after, because the bakuna will not work like in one minute, okay? It takes time. Yung first question, how long before you have the complete immunity? So, talaga pong, ano, even if you met the person before the COVID vaccine, like one day, or even two to three days after the COVID vaccine, remember, wala po pa po kayo dun sa 90%. So, it's highly possible po na mahawaan kayo ng COVID and that you might get sick and that your body may not be able to fight kasi kulang pa po yung antibody nyo. Kasi kaka, ano lang eh, kakabakuna mo lang. So, magtitake ng days po yan bago gumawa ng panlaban yung katawan nyo. Okay. So, it is possible po, uh, my classmate got COVID from the midwife in her clinic two days after her COVID vaccine. Okay? So, pero may, meron po siyang case, yung, yung midwife, and nahawaan po sila. Okay, most of the people who got COVID after the vaccine, majority of the cases have been mild. Siguro, it, there's only one case of a person who like, ano ho, seriously ill and died. Pero majority po talaga were mild and recovered. Probably because ang feeling nila, nakagawa na ng kahit konting antibody lang yung katawan because of the bakuna. Okay? So if your issue naman is that the person got COVID from the bakuna, at doon nang galing yung COVID niya, I would like to assure you po talaga na hindi po nang gagaling sa bakuna po yung COVID. No way po that you can get COVID from a bakuna. You got COVID from another person with COVID na inubuhan ka. Okay? Kasi po, why can't you get COVID from a bakuna? Kasi yung panahon nga like I was making kwento, the panahon po of the live bakuna or the real COVID or the real smallpox, or the real polio, na iniinikasyon po dun sa tao na buhay, e eh, tapos na po yun. Kasi meron talaga nagkasakit. So ngayon, na iniinikasyon na lang po natin is the dead COVID or the inactivated virus. No way po yun na mabubuhay ulit. That is the technology of Sinovac. For the other vaccines po, ang in, ini-inject po nila were portions 
of the spike protein. Yung iba hindi na talaga portions of the spike protein of the COVID. Pero yung message na lang po na gumawa kayo ng spike protein. And then magre-react si katawan dun sa ginawang spike protein na inyong katawan. Which is the messenger RNA technology po of Pfizer and Moderna. So all the vaccines that are available now, no way po talaga kayo magkakaroon ng COVID doon. Okay? That nurse or that person got COVID from another person po. And unfortunately, because she only got one dose of the bakuna, hindi pa po kompleto yung kanyang immunity and that's why she got sick. And uh, tama po rin naman si Ma'am Reyna, we do not know yung underlying condition po ng pasyente. Baka naman mahina puso, baka naman matanda na, baka naman po hini, uh, nakadialysis or what, nung na-ICU po siya, mas nagrabi po yung kanyang sakit, and she might have died of other issues rather than only COVID. So, hindi pa po natin alam. Okay? And again, it has not been proven po in the world that somebody died as a direct action po of a vaccine. Despite 194 million na po na bakunahan. So, thanks for From the question. And uh, marami rin hong nagtatanong noon. That is a very valid question. And uh, yesterday, may nagtanong. Today, I think as we go along, marami talaga magtatanong noon. Yes, Doc. I believe po. Okay Very po. Yes po. Actually, Doc, madaming mga ganyang articles na lumalabas. Mga... Hmm. Opo. Pero so, yun na. Talagang, yeah. Let, let's take the time to answer that because I think that's a yes, ma po. major concern for everybody. Yes. From Mr. James Randolph Gito Macalino. Doc, I read a certain article po in the net which I find it very re reliable. The article says that there were Indonesian nurses died after nine days po na na vaccine ng China's Sinovac. Ilan pong Indonesian nurses ang namatay? Uh, there were. So hindi niya po ni number kung ilan po. Parang narinig ko na yun. Eh. There was one nurse who died of COVID. Again, in-explain ko nga po, yun ang narinig ko from the Indonesians, ha? hindi ko pa alam yung Turkey and Brazilians. Um, as I explained to the previous, possible talaga mamatay ka pa ng COVID despite one dose. Kasi yung one dose na yun, wala ka pa dun sa 98 to 90, 90, 90 plus percent. And again, despite two doses, um, remember, walang nakalagay na 100 percent, di ba? So meron pa rin mamamatay kahit pa paano. Doc, ano lang, segundahan ko lang po yung, yung article na yun. Sige, yeah, go. Sa, sa article, ang namatay po ay isang nurse. So, most probably, itong mga nurse po na ito, and exposed po. So, may exposure. Hmm. Yun, eh. oh, oh. Yes. Kasi ako, ako po ang mga kaibigan kong mga nasa all over the world, na vaccine na po sila. Even my cousins na nasa London na vaccine na sila. Kinakamusta ko sila constantly. And they said, they have to do it because they believe na lalo silang exposed, mas lalo nilang kailangan yung vaccine. Totoo because yeah. they are frontliners nga. Pero they don't discount the fact na may exposure sila. Ibig sabihin, yes, if ano man po ang mangyari, um, because of the exposure they have, they won't, you know, we cannot blame the vaccine over over their death. No, so yun po. Baka nag-neglect naman tong mga we don't know, we cannot say kasi wala tayong details po kung yeah. ano nangyari dito sa Indonesia. No? Exactly po. Ayun po ang ito lang. Okay, ito lang which I'd like to state. 194 million na daw na bakunahan. At least that's what I read from Dr. Uh, Melvin Sanikas. So siguro naman if there were a mass number of people dying eh, talaga nagbagsakan na yung 194 million na yun. Marami yun na. Yes, Doc. At saka lahat naman alam naman natin kahit wala pang COVID, nung time pa lang na pag mga anak ka, automatic kailangan may bakuna yung mga anak mo. Hindi naman po lahat eh 100% nabubuhay or hindi na uh, nagkakaroon ng infection or na dadapuan ng sakit na na vaccine. Parang pa talaga kasi it's not 100. Yes. But I guess 90 is okay. Yun lang. Yes. Kasi, There's Kung hindi ka magpapabakuna, zero yung protection mo. O paano yun? Agree, agree. 
Sabi nyo nga po, Dr. Hindi talaga kayo mag-reach ng 100%. Wala po talaga 100% sa mundo. Yes, agree ako dyan sa sinabi nyo po. From Mr. James Randolph Ginto Macalino, maraming salamat po, Doc. Very enlightening po. Ayan. May na-enlighten na tayo. Ganda yan. Kasi sometimes I'm, I'm really doubting if anyone's understanding me kasi yun ang kinatatakot po talaga that I'm just talking and talking and people don't understand. So please, kung hindi nyo po na-gets, huwag kayo mahiyang magtanong uli. Promise we won't get mad. Yes po. Ano po? Pero ano yung, yung, po, yung hindi nyo na-gets para at least maintindihan ko po kung ako nagkulang. Yes. Okay. Okay. Tsaka Doc, only ang tanong natin dito, only din ang answers. <laughs> So, hanggang maintindihan niyo po. From Ms. Sonia Agbayani, Hi, Doc. Good, good PM. It's great the vaccines are, are arriving na sa Pinas and more vaccines to arrive para ma-assured na ang, na, na ang Pilipinas. Um, I'm really praying, ma'am. Kaya lang po talaga, you know, there is a worldwide, it's a worldwide, pa, kaya nga pandemic, <laughs> it's a worldwide problem po talaga. Kasi, you know, there's like 6 billion people in the world. Six ba or eight? Basta marami. Okay? And uh, one factory, one brand really cannot produce enough for everybody. Two doses pa, so times two, di ba? So talaga magtatagal po itong problema to. But again, the first step, eto na po yun. And thank God and praise the Lord for that. From Mr. Jo John. Si ah, si Sir John Gabukay. Good afternoon po, Doktora. Ano po yung best vaccine sa senior like my parents who have maintenance? Um, Sir John, that's actually a very good question kasi um, Sinovac is not licensed yet for seniors but I'm, I'm hoping na may lalabas na rin pong data. Um, most, of the, most of the time kasi we don't include the seniors sa mga vaccine trials kasi most of the people who tend to volunteer tend to be young persons. no? But in the US, they are vaccinating seniors talaga aggressively kasi kailangan eh and they are the ones most in, in need. So, I'm waiting pa for our FDA. Maybe they will approve Sinovac. We'll see. Um, more and more data is gonna come out po. So, let's just sit tight at may lalabas po mga ibang data. Ay yung Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, um, they're being given to seniors already. Okay? But um, I understand your concern ako rin. My mother-in-law is still alive and malakas, but she's 84. My two uncles are 84 and 80, so I'm worried about them. That's a, that's a very big concern for all of us who have relatives, lolos, lolas, and parents. Ayun po. Talagang we are praying for their safety. From Miss Roselia Nepomuceno Ronquillo, yung bakuna po ba pwede sa may asthma, acid reflux, may sipon at ubo? Ma'am, uh, yes, asthma, yes, acid reflux. Sipon at Ibo, uh, may panlasa pa ba kayo? <laughs> oh my gosh. Kasi baka mga ano, I'm hoping that Sipon and Ibo is just Sipon and Ibo, okay? Not COVID, okay? I'm praying and praying. So, eto pong Sipon and Ibo, eto ah, this is a good question, Ren, and bringing up na nga ni Rena. Why do doctors not like to vaccinate people na may Ubo at Sipon? Um, it's not because the Ubo and Sipon is talagang not allowed to be vaccinated. It's because sometimes one of the side effects of the gamots is manghina. And some people might actually get a slight fever dun sa flu vaccine. Ngayon, kung kayo po ay inuubo at sinisipon at linalagnat, eh baka yung lagnat, sipon at ubo na inyong natural nararamdaman, isisi nyo pa dun sa bakuna. And then, you go to your friend, oh my God, inubo ko, sinupon ako, umabot ng 39 yung lagnat ko kasi nabakunahan ako ng flu. But the truth of the matter was, inubo ka na yung sinisipon before the bakuna. So that's why doctors tend to request persons to be okay first before the bakuna para pag may nangyari from their sakit, di nila sisisihin si bakuna. Yun. Kasi mas gumugulo sa amin kung may dalawang prosesong nangyayari. Gusto namin, isa lang yung proseso at isa lang yung iisipin namin. Yun. Okay, next. Thank you for that. If you have asthma and GERD, it's okay to get vaccinated. If you are having active ubo at sipon, and I'm praying and hoping that that's not COVID, I would wait for muna maybe a week and then get vaccinated again. 
Kaya lang, eto lang ha, Reina, kung talagang paubos na yung bakuna, I might just go ahead. <laughs> Kasi ito nga, may major shortage. Um, when I was able to, ano, to parang makachat yung mga friends ko na nurses abroad, may mga, ano, criterias talaga na pinapa-answeran, like, ano, pati histo- history ng family. Ano, history. Meron kang sasagot pa na for prior to vaccination. Kailangan i-declare po siya lahat. Kasi, um, dun po sa declaration nyo, dun po po magkakaroon ng assessment yung doktor kung pwede po kayong bakunahan. May assessment po na ginagawa. Opo, huwag po silang mag-alala kasi may assessment po talaga na ginagawa. Tama po ba ako, Dok? Yes, yes. Hindi hula talagang dere-derecho kanan at kalawa lang po tayo magbabakuna. We will think closely and carefully po muna. Promise. Yes po. Kasi baka kasi akala ng mga tao... Kung hindi tayo mag- mag-iingat eh. Kasi babalik din sa atin yung hindi pag-iingat natin. Something might happen to someone. Okay. Or actually, baka, okay. baka ubuhin yung tao from the ubo and then isisi pa nga si bakuna. Yun. Tama po. Or baka iniisip kasi ng mga tao ngayon ang sitwasyon sa Pilipinas eh, or sitwasyon sa buong mundo, eh pipila po. O ito ang ano, ito ang pila ng vaccine, pila. Tapos turok lang ng turok, hindi po tayo mga dogs <laughs> na yung binakunahan last time ni doktora. Hindi po, meron pong health assessment. Yes, we, we need to, ano, we need to vaccinate as many people as we can, but we also need to vaccinate as many people as we can in a safe and, ano po, uh, methodical, yung may method, may purpose manner. Opo. From Miss BMS Alscos, from, my, from Mambles, Doktora, is it okay first dose Sinovac? Ay, maganda yung question niya. Next dose, Astra or Pfizer? Let's get vaccinated to end the pandemic. Hashtag. Alam mo, magandang tanong yan. And that happened sa United Kingdom. Uh, kasi nagkukulang sila talaga. And sometimes, hindi nila tinatabi yung second dose nung tao. Kasi da- dapat, pagka first dose mo, guaranteed yung second dose mo. Sa UK, sa dami po ng, sa laki po ng emergency nila. And thousands of people are dying every day doon na. Every day may namamatay na libo-libo. So, talagang super national emergency. Ang nangyari, everybody got the first dose. Or at least they are racing to vaccinate everyone dun sa first dose. Kasi mataas na rin yung immunity ni first dose. Pero wala pa siya talaga sa 90 to 90 plus plus. Um, Kuminsa, naubos na yung dosing. Some of them got the second dose of another vaccine. Um, sinasabi po ng companies, that is not proven. So, um, yung nangyari sa UK, dahil sa sobrang need nila na magbakuna ng tao talaga, two things happen. Some, there were, some people, I think, got a different brand for the second vaccine. And the second issue that happened was, some people na delay yung second vaccine nila kasi they would rather vaccinate many, many, many people rather than few people two times. So, malalaman po natin yan with the UK data. United Kingdom po. Okay. From Ms. Apata, Netor, Eva. Ano ba yun? And, um, so far, walang data. That's what I can tell you. From Ms. Apatan, Etor Eva Arni, watching from Butuan City. Doc, pwede, pwede ba magpabakuna kahit may maintenance sa hypertension? Okay, another question. Ma'am, okay. Sige. Ma'am, as I mentioned before, those persons na maraming sakit at lalo na po may edad pa, they should actually be the first priority after the frontliners. Kasi yung risk of severe COVID and death po sa kanila ay mas mataas kesa sa taong wala pong high blood, nakaedad po nila. So, mas dapat nga po silang bakunahan. From next po, next Miss Kat, from Miss Sotera Valiestero, nagtatago ugat ko sa injection po, sobrang nipis po ugat ko, kaya takot ako sa kahit anong injection. Herbal lang ako, naggogrogi ako sa kahit anong gamot. Uh, is this ma'am or sir? First of all, uh, sir or ma'am, what I understand, let me check. Ang alam ko, it's an IM injection. Eh. What I know is it's intramuscular. Um, uh, let me just check. 
Opo. Let me just check. Ang alam ko po talaga is it's intramuscular. Um, wait lang ha. Ang pagkaalam ko po talaga, and please correct me if I'm wrong, it is my understanding po that the vaccine is intramuscular, which is into the muscle. Okay? Kaya po dito eh, ito po yung muscle natin eh. Okay? That's why nakikita po natin sa deltoid area. Where is the deltoid? Ito po yung kamay ko. I'm holding my arm. Um, I don't know if you can see it because there's a... Uh, ayan. Dito po, deltoid. Ayan o. Oh. Opo. Kaya nga tinatawag silang ano, yung cold shoulders na tawag siyang bakuna blouse. Kasi may, may cut out dito. So, um, what can I tell you? Um, it's not, ano po, it is not intravenous. Wala po sa ugat. So, hindi po kailangan magtago or don't worry kung natatago yung ugat mo. Dahil hindi po talaga nagtatago ang inyong muscle. It's here. Dito po kayo babakunahan. Okay? That is a muscular injection. Muscles. Okay? Laman. Okay. And then, uh, second issue is... Um, The herbal po will not protect you from ano, COVID, mommy. And um, there is a 2% risk of death. Um, lalo na, I don't know what your job is, but if you are a doctor po or a nurse, you have a high risk. I would really suggest po that um, you get vaccinated. And no more facts po. Yung herbal po will not help us fight COVID or prevent COVID. Well, it can, it can make you healthy, pero hanggang dun lang po. Okay. I hope that is clear from yeah. Pag nasa ICU na po tayo, um, it's kind of sad. Lalo na kung available na po and then we didn't get it and then something bad happened. Mapapaisip po tayo and we, we might regret po that. If the worst thing that happened to you was to become groggy from gamots, the worst thing that can happen to you po from COVID is to die and I don't want that to happen to anybody. Yun po yun. For someone to lose a loved one. Opo. Kung nag-grogi ho kayo, di magdala kayo ng everything you need to feel comfortable once you go home and just rest and relax po um, with your grogginess po at home. Ayan. Kaya alam po, pag hindi ho kayo nagpapabako na may risk talaga po of dying. Ayan po. And I don't want that to happen to anybody. Okay, from Mr. Jomi Belhika Bahamundi. Hi, Dr. Good afternoon po. Sabi po ang Sinovac ay hindi naman siya gamot sa COVID at hindi rin siya 100%. Guaranteed na napagbakunahan ka na, hindi ka na mahawa ng COVID. So, what is the use of this vaccine? Hindi siya gamot sa COVID. Hindi po siya gamot sa COVID. Hindi, bakuna po siya sa COVID. Okay? And then... Just because something is not 100%, di mo na gagamitin. Ayaw mo ng 90%. Meron bang 100% sa mundo? Well, 100% po na, ano, ano po, 100% mamamatay tayo. That I can assure you. But, um, sandali ah, medyo maano lang po yung ilaw. Matapang ba yung ilaw? Ayan. So my question is, um, it may not be 100%, but it's 90%. And I think 90% is a pretty good number not to die. Sa akin lang. Okay? Okay. Yeah, malinaw. <laughs> oo, oo, parang sa akin, pwede lang 90%. But hindi lang po tayo mamatay. And aside from dying po, no, um, the longer po this pandemic continues, we are not going to die of COVID. We are going to die po of hunger. Yan, 100%. Pag hindi nakakain at hindi nakatrabaho mga Pilipino, people will start dying. May nagdaday na nga eh. Alright, so next po. At saka ano, nabanggit niyo po that Sinovac is not 100%. Well, Pfizer is not 100%. Moderna is not 100%. AstraZeneca is not 100%. And actually, even paracetamol is not 100% na mawawala yung sakit ng ulo nyo. Bakit kayo umiino ng paracetamol? Napakagandang analyzation, doktora. Walang. I mean, yes. And you know what? I respect each and every question. 
if they are asked for with the purpose of learning. If they are asked for with the purpose of being an anti-vaxxer, eh, hindi po ito yung... I, I hope na ma-enlighten po tayo ng konti. Okay? And the most important is to keep an open mind. Um, Facebook is not a doctor. Facebook is actually the worst source of information that anyone can get. From Miss Mavis Ahemko, willing to be vaccinated, lalo, nang, nang, lalo na nung nag-explain nung na-explain nyo po, Doktora. Thank you. I thank you din po. Yeah, thank you din, Ma'am. And I'm really hoping that I could convince persons. You know what? I'm not here to convince you. I'm here to present the scientific facts and hopefully that you can make an informed decision. Kasi I don't want you to make a decision based on wrong facts. Hindi po facts yun, based on maling information. And that would really be sad kung meron pong nangyari sa, sa inyo, sa pamilya nyo, because of a decision that you made based po sa mga maling datos. Yun po yun. So I would like to say I'm not here to convince anyone. I'm just here to tell you the scientific evidence and here to, to, sh to share with you po yung personal experience ko po. And that's 25 years. Okay, um, from Ms. Dayan Vivian Asenero. Hi, Doc. Good PM po. Okay lang po ba ang vaccine sa may problema sa blood like Von Will... Hmm, Von Will Brand. Will Brand. Von Will Brand, Brand is a clotting disease. Uh, Mama, as far as I know, uh, walang problem po ang uh, bakuna from clotting. But again, you probably have a hematologist po. So, um, pag-usapan niyo po yun. Opo. Ako, my answer offhand would be no. No problem. Apo. Okay, from Mr. Maynardo Guarin Lansangan. Doktora Ana, can the vaccines from China be mixed with Pfizer, Moderna? I think ito rin yung same question. Parang with... nga rin, sir, wala pong data. Hindi po natin alam. I, I wouldn't, the, the vaccine, rec the vaccine, ano po, they don't recommend na mag-mixing po tayo ng vaccine. Kasi magulo, opo. Ayaw po nila talaga. Um, uh, ni suggest po nila don't do that. But sa UK, as I already shared with you, um, due to the emergency nature po talaga ng ano po sa UK, eh, napilitan po silang mag-mix ng bakuna. Whether that was good or not, I'm sorry, I'm moving kasi parang masyado matindi yung araw. Um, okay lang ba? Yon. Parang ang alam ko, uh, napilitan silang nag-mix because talaga naubukan sila ang bakuna. But we cannot recommend that po at this present From Miss Carmela So, Dr. Isner. Okay. Uh, okay po. Ayan. Dr. maybe you should just move a bit, ano, afar yeah, from the... Oh, ano. sandali lang ha, guys. Sorry, sorry talaga. Okay. Sobra po yung flare. Tagal na nga ating usapan, nag-shift na yung araw. Just yes. Yeah, Ayos na lang po. Pasensya na po. Si Doktora po ay one man show. Siya din po ang nag-uusog ng mga ano, ng mga upuan, lamesa. Okay. Ayan. Okay na? Yes. Miss Kat? Ayan. From Miss Carmela So, sa LGU muna po ba ang pagbakuna? Marami po kasing kumpanya ang gustong mabakunahan empleyado nila at naghahanap na. Mm, ayan right, po, now, po, uh, right now, we can only purchase it from the government. And siguro po, the government will prioritize po muna yung mga frontliners and people like who are in um, extreme need. After that po, uh, tingnan po natin kung ano pong mangyayari moving forward. From Miss from Miss Apatan Etor Eva Arni. Thank you po, Doctor. God bless. Okay, from Miss Jennifer Rojas Rivera. Doc, pwede po ba sa mga nagda-dialysis ang vaccine? Yes, Mama. Um, pwede po. And actually, better pa po na mabakunahan sila. Kasi po, mataas po talaga yung risk nila na magkaroon po na serious illness. So, discuss it po with your kidney doctor. Ayan po. 
from Miss Minerva Gia de Guzman. Ilan months po, doktor, ang protection ng vaccines? Ay, gusto ko din ito malaman, dok. Maganda. Maganda. Actually, we don't know. Um, but they are starting to ano ho, to measure yung mga unang nabakunahan. And uh, kasi they have held trials since last year. Yung mga nabakunahan daw, they are actually quite surprised and very happy na parang tumatagal po yung protection natin. Kasi right now, we don't know whether we have to repeat it yearly. Ang flu, remember, yearly. Okay? So hindi po po natin alam kung one shot lang siya, two shots, or I mean, the two shots, that's it. Or whether we have to repeat it some many years down the line, di pa po natin alam. Ang flu, yearly. Ang pneumonia, every five years. So, ang tetano, every five to ten years. Opo. Okay, so next po, from Ms. Kathy Rodriguez. Now, I'm willing to be vaccinated 100%, Doktora. Okay, thank you so much Magkatabi for that. Magkatabi na tayo, Ma'am Kati, tara na. Next would be from Ms. Diane Vivian Asenero. Thank you, Doktora. Ma'am Diane, thank you so much, too. From Ms. Carol Magtalas, Dok, kung nagpa-flu vaccine, pwede ba sundan ng COVID vaccine naman? Pwede naman, but I wouldn't suggest it like on the same day. Um, I, I I haven't read the recommendations po for flu followed by COVID. Ano po, but um, a ako, I wouldn't do it on the same day. Para lang hindi magkagulo. And I would put some time po between the both vaccines. Okay? Hooray! That's all that we have yeah. for today, Doctora. So, sa inyo po lahat, thank you for joining us um, this afternoon. I hope I answered some of the questions that you might have. And uh, we'll go through a vaccine, um, usapang bakuna po, um, periodically as, ano, as the time allows us. I'm praying and hoping that we will be successful po in our vaccine campaign. And um, I'm praying and hoping that this will be the way po out of the pandemic. So sa inyo po lahat, maraming maraming salamat. Take care. Bye-bye.